Hello, I'm Father Joe Gabala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church. Welcome to Saint of the Day. Today is September the 6th. Who remembers that movie classic, The Graduate, starring Anne Bancroft and Dustin Hoffman and Catherine Ross? I believe it won Best Picture. A uh, fascinating tale about a young man who falls in love with a young lady, but the mother of the lady falls in love with Dustin Hoffman. And this triangle goes on for a while, and Dustin realizes that, his, that he really is in love with Catherine, but Catherine has problems forgiving Dustin for his relationship with her mother, and so on and so forth. And then on the wedding day itself, the wedding day comes, and there's that great scene that there is the bride uh, at the altar with her groom, and there's Dustin Hoffman up on the church window, pounding and pounding the window and calling out her name and telling her with his loudest voice how much he loves her. And she races away from her groom just before the vows are to be given and races out the church and joins Dustin Hoffman and off they flee together. Well, today's saint has a very similar story. This is Saint B. B was the daughter of an Irish king. Now, we know that in the Middle Ages, Ireland was beset with invasions from the, uh, the Vikings. And so, uh, the Irish king, uh, who was the father of, of B, decided maybe he could make peace with the, uh, many of the uh, Norwegians who had settled in what's now modern-day Dublin. And so, he offered the king his daughter in marriage so that there would be peace and unity between the two peoples. Well... The wedding day was planned, you know, the musicians were hired, the food was ordered, and in, in the church they set up ready for the ceremony, and there was B at the altar with the son of the Norwegian king when B hears a voice too. It wasn't Dustin Hoffman calling her though, it was the voice of God calling her to be his bride. And so she pulls her hands away from her betrothed prince, races down the aisle of the church, races out the door, and races out into the moors where she can't be found. And there she meets a fellow by the name of Oswald, the future Saint Oswald. And Oswald, she tells Oswald what happened, and Oswald says, the Lord is calling you to be his bride, which means he's calling you to become a nun. And so B did. She became a nun, and founded a beautiful abbey in Copeland, Ireland, where she lived the rest of her life as the abbess. 